there has been an incredible reliance upon transvaginal ultrasound to determine whether or not a woman has a uterine cancer. And what's important to understand about that is an ultrasound can never give you a real diagnosis. It gives you pictures, but it doesn't tell you what the tissue looks like underneath the microscope. And so in our discussions with our residents in training, young doctors in training, um, we have been concerned that they have been taught to get transvaginal ultrasounds and to rely only upon transvaginal ultrasounds to tell whether or not a woman has a uterine cancer. An abstract that was uh, published at the SGO this year talked about that very topic. And what was very alarming is that in the previously published data, it's important that an endometrial stripe or the thickness of the uterine lining be less than five millimeters. This paper reported that 28% of what we call type one or garden variety uterine cancers, 28% occur in women who have a thickness in the uterus lining of less than five millimeters. So almost 30% um, of, of women who have a thickness that's very, very thin still can have a malignancy. The other thing that this study found is that 46% of patients who have a thickness of less than five millimeters may have what's called a type two uterine cancer, which are uterine papillary serous carcinomas or clear cell carcinomas, and those tend to be more aggressive and needed to be, need to be treated much more aggressively. So this paper shows, illustrates very clearly why we cannot rely on transvaginal ultrasound to tell us whether or not a woman has an endometrial cancer or not. We must perform a biopsy. If anybody, any woman, is having postmenopausal bleeding or is before menopause but is having bleeding between periods, very heavy periods, some sort of abnormal bleeding, biopsies must be done, not just transvaginal ultrasound.